Hi, queens and kings. Welcome back and thank you guys so much for watching as well as returning. Today, I will be participating in another gorgeous collaboration. And the name of this collaboration is a Christmas holiday mix. And the holiday mix that I will be doing is a Christmas look for less, where we can actually copy a magazine, a catalog, or something off of Pinterest like a tablescape, a mantle, or a Christmas tree. So before I get into that, of you guys showing you how I got this look, let me tell you guys about the host. The host name is Brie by Brie Projects Book. And her co-host is Kenya Decor Kona, Diva Designing on a Dime with Kimberly Davis and Wanting House. And of course, the Dream Team. Now, let me tell you guys all about the Dream Team. The Dream Team is home body with Felisa, Angelica Interior Design by Chanel, The Glamorous Pen and Picture, Tim B Design, Amateur Decorating Like a Pro, Style by Kira, Decorating with Barbara, and of course, me. <laughs> so the magazine that I decided to look in is from American Signature Furniture. And in the title of it, as you guys can see, it says, All I Want. So all I want for Christmas is a designer look. But of course, a Christmas look for less. Now, here is the picture that I actually got my inspiration from. Now, as you guys can see, they do have a sectional. I do not have a section, so a lot of things that I will be creating, recreating this look is things that I already had in my home that I had from previous years. So why not get my rooms with presents and not just presents? So with that being said, Queens and Kings, let me show you guys how I start off my Christmas look for less. Okay, Queens and Kings, so basically I have everything cleared off as what I don't want on the chairs or anything as well on the top of my coffee table. So in the magazine, in the book, it had like a blue and white plaid pillow, but by my decor, my style this year is rustic glam with winter blues for the Christmas season. I'm going to start off with my little rusted pillar here. Um, if I'm not mistaken, I think it's the coyote um, fur, but it's not real fur, it's faux fur. So I'm going to use that as my first pillar that I lay on my sofa and to start off with my, from my base. That pillow. And then the next one was a smaller size pillow, uh, could have been like a 18 inch or so. I'm not sure, 18 by 18, I mean to say, or whatever. But instead of that, I'm going to use this pop of blue which are some velvet blue pillow covers that one of you lovely queens go by the name as Rhonda Green sent me these pillow covers so I thank you so much because I had to incorporate them and I really appreciate you just doing that for some so it's kind of ironic that you actually read my, my mind at the time so I just hope from the pillows that actually came on the sofa and I'm going to use these here so this is going to be my extra pillow that 18 by 18 size pillow with the magazine had like this leopard print uh, pillow you know just to bring in a little character a little something different so while we're still doing a little Christmas vibes I'm going to use my little snowflake pillow here that I got from tjmax.com and it's full of rhinestones um, that is glued all over it to shape and look like a snowflake. The white is actually velvet and it's um, a throw pillow. I mean a throw that can actually come off, you know, a pillow cover that can come off the pillow. So I'm going to use that in the place of the leopard print of the animal just because it had a design on that pillow. It had a character on it. It's just not as plain as simple as the other two. So therefore I'm going to use this one next rounded pillows the first three set we're going to move on to the opposite end of the sofa now you guys if you guys remember or not the picture was actually a sectional and i don't have a sectional so basically using what i have to actually mimic the look or try to get the little designer look and on that end of that section they had like a white throw so uh, once again, I'm going to use what I have and what I'm going to use for this Christmas. So I'm actually going to use this little throw that actually match 
the pillow that I call a coyote faux fur. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments about that because I'm not quite sure, but I think that's what it is. So I'm going to use this on that end. Go ahead and place the throw and I place the other pillar that I had in the blue, which I'm loving. Now in the picture, it had like three pick three pillows in a throw, which I'm not going to use the third pillow at this moment. I'm actually just going to place two pillows on the sofa just to see how that would look. And using one of the pillows I'm actually going to use is this gorgeous little bling rhinestone pillow that I made out of um, a placemat, a runner from Raw. So I just took an old little pillow and inserted that I got from Walmart and I made this little lumbar pillar here which I totally love. So instead of placing a round pillar there, I'm going to place this little lumbar pillar because I don't have a round pillow. Okay, so now I have my sofa all side up how I want it, how I'm loving it. And I actually love this look. I love the idea of just using two pillows instead of three because I have the throw. Maybe if I did have a sectional, I would have placed a another pillow there or so so this is look that i have for now now we're going to move on to the coffee tape to the magazine um take a quick look at that one more time before we actually decorate the coffee table now on their coffee table it have like a small tray some flowers and a gift box and then they also have the three domes with the fairy lights in it which that what's really draw my attention to this image in this magazine, the look that I really wanted to go for, the look that I like, but I was like, why not try the rest? So, therefore, I'm going to use my domes or, you know, cloches that I do have of my own to recreate the top of my coffee table look. So, let's see how this turns out as well as the base to all my domes that I will be using. So let's give you all a look for less. So I did add a little few more things like the pillar in the background, a navy blue pillar, a little bit darker. So I do like the contrast of the two pillars, the different shades of pillars, as well as the style and texture of all the pillars. So moving down here on the coffee table. Now I got the look that I was going for the last look but as you guys can see I did ran out of the bigger ribbon so I had to improvise and use a smaller size ribbon but I'm quite sure if I used the bigger size you it still would have been that look that I was going for so I did place my little fairy lights in here as well and those came from the Dollar Tree now for the charger or the tray I will say I actually downsized to this smaller tray because I wanted that look but you guys know for less so this is the idea that I came up with but I wanted to be able to place a candle over here so I insert this candle inside my bed of roses here my bouquet of roses and I did a little pop of color which is the navy blue roses and some gorgeous glamorous pics my tray is a DIY Everything on here is actually a DIY. Definitely this cloche here is a DIY. I got the cloche from Goodwills for $1.99. And I DIY the trays, the bottoms, which I will leave a link in the i cards as well as the end of the video so you guys can be able to click on to see how I made each one. Okay, Queens and Kings, so that is my Christmas look for less. And I would like to give a great shout out to one of my dream team sisters, 
Miss Bree at Bree's Projects Book for actually hosting this collaboration along with the rest of my part of my Sisters of the Dream Team. So if you guys would like to get your inspiration on, your ideas on, or your copycat, or your look for less, click the link down below. Check out all the part of the Dream Team because each and every one have brought a look for you all. So if you guys would like to continue getting inspiration, watch out for every Friday. There will be some type of collaboration, some type of inspiration from the Dream Team. So I hope you queens and kings enjoyed this look. If you all did, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And you guys continue to be royal.